Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, we will learn how to simulate cracked growth in compact tension specimens using extended finite element method. We will go, we will go through all necessary steps to get our job run successfully. Also, we will see how to crack propagate in our specimens. Let's get started. First, let's start with our parts in our model. We have two parts. The first one is compact tension specimen under ASTM norm. And also we have crack, our crack in XFEM. Let's edit our first part, compact tension, click edit feature, select feature and let's edit section. We have all dimensions of our specimen. Click on, click OK. Now let's see our crack dimensions. Edit feature, select feature, see the sketch. We have a crack with 10 millimeter in the width and two meter of 10 millimeter in the length and two millimeter in the width, the width of our specimen. Click OK. OK. Now let's go to property. Create property of aluminum material elastic young modulus on units and in megapascal and dimensions in millimeter and loads in newton Damage for traction separation laws, maximum principal stresses for damage. 120 megapascal, and also let's damage evolution. Displacement at failure, or you can select energy at failure. Let's select displacement. Click OK. Now we have, we define our material, click OK. Let's create section, section one, section. Solid homogeneous aluminum. Let's assign this section to our specimen. Click OK. Let's go to assembly and assembly our part, our crack in the right position in our part in our compact tension let's our crack let's rotate this crack rotate in this axis with 90 degrees and okay, it's a right orientation Let's move this crack in the right position. Crack. Now we have our crack in the right position in our specimen. Click OK. Let's move the wall assembly in the zero position. Move, move this point to zero. Click OK. Now we have our model in zero position. Let's go to step module and create our step. Step one, general static. Also, we need to go to file output and edit and select what we need to get in our result. 
we need to get the failure also we need to select status xfdm also click ok now let's go to interaction and create our crack special crack create crack one crack xfem now we need to select the crack domain where we need to get our crack and in the window appear we need to enable crack location and select select crack position our part of crack this is our crack position click ok click ok now let's go to interaction in the initial step let's enable xfm crack growth continue allow crack growth in this step click ok now we need to go to assembly and create preference point reference point the first one and the second one let's go to interaction also and create coupling between this reference point and surfaces of this hole coupling continue select constraint point cons constraint point click ok surface select the this surface of our hole click click done click ok now the second constraint coupling continue select point and select this surface click done ok let's go to load and now we need to create our load in the initial step displacement rotation continue we need to select reference points click ok and this point is avoid displacement in all directions ok now in this point the top point Top reference point displacement rotation click continue select point and now we can enable movement in two direction displacement in two direction in x direction and z direction click ok now we need to add another one displacement rotation in initial step and avoid we don't have any point in this part it's okay now let's go to apply our force load one initial step one step one concentrated force continue and apply load in this reference point click done in the y direction apply our force Okay. now we have all boundary condition applied but the better thing we need we need to create partition in this side to partition this our specimen in the half and create boundary condition in this point let's create create the tone plan with three points let's create select the first one third one fourth one now we have datum plan and create partition using this datum plan cell use datum plan to create partition we need to make independent let's go to part first 
and create the tomb plan and create our partition in this module select the tomb plan create partition now we have partition in this part let's go to load let's remove this plan by editing our assembly features delete this feature delete yes feature regenerate now let's buy our right initial step displacement rotation let's avoid the movement in all direction of this point okay now let's go to mesh module and assign let's let's go to our part select part size of mesh let's do two millimeter fly okay meshing our part let's refine our mesh one millimeter apply delete previous mesh apply okay mesh yes now let's go to type element of mesh click select our parts meshing or select our mesh click on to see our mesh in our part we have cubic 3d eight node reduction element reduction integration reduced integration integration let's go to element deletion yes and specific of max degradation click ok now i think we will do we do all necessary steps let's go to mesh shop create mesh shop one xfem compact tension specimen video okay now let's check our model first it's not a problem click yes before we go to analyze our result we make we do some modification in boundary condition first we remove this boundary condition in this point and also change this boundary condition we add limited rotation also also in this step in this boundary condition click ok and also make decrease of our force and for removing errors of too many attempt we go to step and edit our step one incrementation general solution controls editor we specify and select enable discontinuous analysis and change this value from 5 to 20 and this is our result let's remove unnecessary edges and we have this result let's see our propagation thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoy with this video and you get 
all necessary step, steps for XFM growing in compact tension specimen. Don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel and like this video. See you.